Welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to use and set up the Local Admin Color Bar developer plugin for Desktop Server. This plugin lets you change the color of the admin bar in your WordPress sites to a default blue. It also lets you customize this color for each of your WordPress sites that you're running with Desktop Server and even assign custom text to the top. This helps prevent you from getting confused about which site you're working on when you're working on multiple sites at once. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to set up this plugin with Desktop Server. To start, we're going to head over to GitHub and search for Local Admin Color Bar. We'll be looking for the one from ServerPress. We'll come here and download this to our computer. Then we need to open up the folder where Desktop Server is saved on our computer. On a Mac, we can find this inside our Applications folder, inside the XAMPP folder, and then the DS plugins. On a PC, this is going to be inside your C drive, inside a XAMPP Lite folder, and then the same DS plugins folder. We can unzip and grab the folder that we downloaded from GitHub and then drag and drop it into the DS Plugins folder. We'll then come back into Desktop Server and then click to stop or restart the web and database services. We can now make sure that we have local admin color bar checked and restart the web and database services. Once this is done, we can come back to our Desktop Server sites and when we click through and open one of these in a tab, we can see that it now has the default WordPress blue along with some text here identifying the site. To edit the color and text, we'll have to come into the configuration file wp-config for this specific WordPress site that we have. On a Mac computer, we'll come into our documents folder, websites, and then into the particular site, for example in this one, admincolor.dev, that we want to customize. On a PC, you can find it in the same place. The file that we want to edit is wpconfig.php. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in a text editor that is common for web developers and designers called Sublime Text. You could also use something like TextEdit, but do not open it up in a word processor such as Microsoft Word or Pages since it may mess up the file. This file contains a number of configurations for the WordPress site. Luckily, we don't have to worry about any of these, and we want to come down around line 20 after it says package WordPress and these comments end, and add our own code. To change the color, we'll go ahead and type out define parentheses with a closing parentheses, single quotation marks, and inside of them, ds underscore color, a comma, and then inside of two more single quotes, we could put in a hexadecimal value that makes sense to go along with the branding for the particular site that we're using. If you're not familiar with hexadecimal values, you could also simply type in something like pink or green or any of the basic colors that you may think of should work as just written values. I'm going to go ahead and leave it with this hexadecimal value, however, and very importantly, you want to make sure that you put a semicolon at the end of the line. If we save this and come back into our site, when we refresh it, we'll see that this new color appears. However, it's one more line of code to edit the text here. To edit the text, we'll come in and add one more line. Define environment text or env underscore txt, and then we could put the name of the site, admin color bar demo in this case, again ending with a semicolon. Now when we come back to the site and refresh, we can see that we have a custom color and a custom name assigned to the site. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process for a couple of the other sites that I have set up here so you could see what it looks like when multiple sites are running. I've now gone ahead and added colors to these other sites. So if I open up my example two site, I'll see purple and example two. And if I open up my example one site, I'll see black along with example one. 
Again, all I did to do this was edit the WP config file for the site, type define DS color. In this one, you can see I just type black, and then environment text and the name of this other site. This should help you a lot when you're working with more than one WordPress site using Desktop Server.